we're tired of being in the house. So we are gonna go to one of the spots where I'm gonna deer hunt this year and put out the camera and uh, put out some uh, trace mineral salt. Just kind of do a little scouting real quick. Uh, we're gonna take y'all along with us. She's shy. All right, so here's the spot. Do a little trimming right here this year, but it's 40 acres a buddy of mine let me hunt. Um, I hunted it two years ago, or I didn't hunt it last year. I hunted it the last two years before that. Uh, he decided he was going to hunt it last year, and then this year he gave me permission again to hunt it again. He just keeps his camper out here, and he's got a little uh, uh, barn he, he built out here. But I'm going to go out here, and we're going to uh, go back to my old spot and put a salt lick out and everything and do a little scouting. Fifteen acres of it is a field. Um, that's a little pond right there. We're gonna fish that here in a minute. Camper, my beautiful bride. Oh, it's wet over that way. So I'm gonna stay this way. It's real wet. Lock her in. Just I don't want to run up in place. There's a barn back there. I had a stand right over that way right there, but I'm I like this one down here a little bit better. Creek, little stream running through here. Watch out for some cotton mouse. They'll sit up on the banks up there, but I don't see any today, so I'll go first. Ugh. You good back there, babe? Okay. All right. Have no fear. I'm busting through all the spider webs for you. Right there, in the face. Yeah, I know, I feel it on me. Well, clear me out a little spot with this rake and this rock mineral salt right here. It'll sink into the ground and absorb. I got some more bags in the truck I'll have to bring them back, but you get the gist of it. I'll put this trophy rock right here. I always use trophy rocks. Put that there. And I got some of that molasses barbecue, whatever they call for deer. I'll rub that in there and when it rains it'll sink in and be good to go. I'll put my camera right there. I'll show y'all a couple pictures I had last year. Or I'm sorry, I didn't hunt this last year. My boss, or my friend, my boss did. He let me hunt it this year. Two years before that, I hunted it and I had a, a nice buck on camera. Uh, I never got him the first year or the second year, but I'll show you what he looked like. And I got a picture of him standing right here. Um, last, last year I hunted a little bit towards the south, but I think I'm gonna hunt right here this year. Um, do a little work right here. and I'll put my climber up on one of these, or lock on up on one of these. But uh, that's the gist of it. Me and, me and my beautiful bride here, we're going to take a little walk, do a little scouting, and maybe we'll go try to catch a fish or something. But uh, I'll probably hunt maybe this big oak right here or this pine, but I, I don't know. This pine's going to have more cover, but um, I'm not exactly sure. So anyway, I got about two more trips to make. Put some more stuff right there. Put my camera right there and 
when we go do new scouting. All right, that's the first year I had him. This is the first year. This is the starting of the second year. And I don't know what's up with these pictures, but I mean, I don't know what the computer did, but you can tell he's gotten quite a bit bigger. What's up? Uh, I had some people ask me about some of the things I've done to my truck. Uh, right now I'm just doing goofy as hell because I shed about four inches off my beard. And anyway, I'm gonna go walk around real quick and kind of tell you the stuff I did. Uh, most everybody has this it's a two and a half inch ray lift on the front. It's just a spacer up top. Um, I probably wish I, I wish I would have went with like a I don't know, probably three and a half inch because I feel like right now it's a perfect angle, but if it's on flat ground, I feel like it's nose down a little bit. Uh, now it's got the track bar relocation bracket, uh, sway bar drop brackets. Um, I'm running a 37, 1350 on a stock Lariat sport wheel. And yes, it does rub. I'll show you where it rubs real quick. Um, it barely rubs on the sway bar, barely. Um, and then it rubs on the radius arm. You can see it right there, but... It, it ain't a big deal to me at all. Um, I've got dual steering stabilizers, uh, just the Bilstein 5100s. I've had them on forever. Um, I ain't never had death wobble once, but when I put the leveling kit on it, they did change the caster shims as well. Um, I put a um, two-wheel drive um, balance on it, the four-wheel drive one. Came down here. I mean, I had a high center on this shit. Uh, put these Super Duty inserts in it. Uh, this is my truck came with a, a, um, a chrome grill, and this is a grill off a work truck XL. I just swapped them out. Uh, this is a Ford illuminated emblem from Putco. I'll show you how that works real quick. I got it wired up to my upfitter switch. Anyway, so I can, I can turn it on and off whenever I want. Um, what else have I done? Uh, these right here. Oh, the Lariat Sport headlights. Um, my truck, I mean, just the XLT, but I like uh, I like the blacked out look. So I had halogens anyway. I found these for a sweet deal. Uh, I did a video on installing these. I'll put it at the end of the video if you want to watch it. These are just halogens off the of Lariat Sport, and I have headlight revolution LEDs light up the world in it. Um, I put the Lariat Sport badges on it. Yeah, I don't have a Lariat, but I don't care. Uh, I like this black look. Uh, I just did a video last week on these mirror caps I did. Um, it used to be black. Uh, I didn't like that. I wanted the white here. I think I'm going to leave the handles black, though. Um, I've got to um, walk around this side over here. I, I, I did delete and tune it because I had some problems, and I kept having to go back to the dealership. So I deleted and tuned it. Um, most people run an easy link. I'm running an engage tuner. Um, I had this pod made. Um, right here, his name's Ben Hollow. You can find him on uh, uh, the Banks Derringer 6.7 Facebook group. He makes these vent pods to put the engage in. I'm running um, Chaos Tunes in it. Uh, I got a four inch race pipe um, and I just kept my factory tip. Um, I got a four inch race pipe with a muffler uh, because I tried a four inch straight pipe at first and me and my dad and my grandpa, we go to Wyoming and it was gonna be too loud for him. So anyway, I just put a, a muffler on it. It's not it's not loud at all. Um, you got the, the the inlays back here as well. I'm running a way safe eight inch drop. Um, I like the way safe. I've had B and W. I've had bulletproof. This is this is my favorite. I got the bolt hitch lock. These right here are hammer locks. These are awesome because everybody knows when you hook up a trailer, these new duties you can't get the the, the hook in there. So these are um, uh, hammer locks. I'll put a link to all this in the description of the video as well. Um, I think that's, I put LED lights, reverse lights, and uh, red light, uh, third brake light as well. Um, I, I got my, my dash cam hardwired um, to the battery, so when it comes on, you know, it's always on. I can do a video on that as well, too. Oh, one more thing. Um, these right here are sweet. These are the Husky wheel well liners. You know, it's black right here, um, and it makes clean and easy, so like, before this wasn't here, it was all white under there. You could see it from a distance. It looks better for one. And for two, I, I spray like armor all on here when I clean it. And then if I go in the mud or anything, I just go right to the car wash, spray it, and it, it, that, the mud doesn't stick to it. It just comes right off. Those are by far one of the best. It makes, you know, you used to have to clean every little crevice now. Pressure washer, I just hit that real quick. 
it blocks all the mud and it's super easy to clean um, so I like that as well uh, uh, I did a video it, uh, you can look on my page or I'll link it as well but um, I did a video on a wireless charging right here um, basically I, I run the wire through the vent right here down the side through here up and it goes into here and plugs in the cigarette lighter my phone sticks to this magnetically and charges um built right industries right here i put gopro here there's my dash cam that's pretty much about i put the lariat steering wheel in it i had a um composite steering wheel and i just it felt like crap and cheap so i i got this steering wheel and put it in it took about 20 minutes if that but that's about pretty much everything i've done i'm still gonna want to you know I, I do want to lift it higher i want to get front and rear bumpers i hate the chrome i don't want any more chrome and a winch up front and a new replacement bumper and a camper shell and i should be about good but uh anyway we're fixing to go do a little fishing and um maybe we'll catch a few fish get them on camera Do something else, so if y'all got any ideas for some new videos or want to know anything else about the truck, let me know.